I learned many things. I uh, have travel agency. I am doing business also, and I am also Kenko Teki. You must be knowing Seto Jijakjo, then Matsumoto Seijo, Patekawa Tachi also. So it is many things which I see, see that it is because of Japan. So I have to pay it back. In Japanese, you say Ongaishi. Hello, I'm Miho. Hello, I'm Dandiri. I understand that Dandiri is bridge between India and Japan. He wants to tell about Japan to Indians and India to Japanese. Yes, uh, that is uh, the study what I have done. I am a Japanologist and Indologist. I want to tell about Japan to my Indian friends because there are many things which they don't know. And similarly, uh, many Japanese, they don't know about India. So I'll speak in very simple English so that my Japanese friends can understand. And I will also use little Japanese so that people who are learning Japanese language in India can also understand. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> so tell us about yourself. Uh, sure, yes. Uh, actually, I am from India. I studied in uh, India, New Delhi. I was born and brought up in New Delhi. Uh, there I studied, I graduated from Delhi. Then I learned Japanese language. And I traveled to Japan about 40 years before. And I loved this country. After that, to use my Japanese language, I joined a travel agency, which was the biggest travel agency in India. and. I worked for Japanese just to improve my language. I was in charge of Japanese department. I traveled with many high people of Japan because of my language. I got chance to travel with high priest, with the famous uh, uh, seijika mm. and politicians and many uh, high people. So I learned a lot about uh, during that time. I traveled all over India with Japanese people and after that I traveled all over Japan to talk, to give my lectures because Japanese wants to know more about it. So I, I given lectures all over Japan on many subjects and mostly on India. Uh, for example, uh, which highly people? Uh, you mean to say famous? Yeah, uh, famous from Japan. people. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, because of my language, I was expert in Buddhist sector, Buddhism. So we had a uh, high priest from Japan, maybe the high priest from Todaiji mm -hmm. or Kofukuji or Yakushiji uh, and also Seto Chijakcho, you must be knowing Seto Chijakcho. Yeah, then Matsumoto Seicho, Patekawa Tachi also. Seicho? <laughs> yes, Matsumoto <laughs> Seicho. And uh, also I traveled with Tatekawa Danshi. Yeah, I know. He's famous comedian. Yes. And when I escorted him, he liked me and he gave me, he made me his disciple. And that's why my name is Dan Deri. Oh, I see. Tatekawa Danshi, no? Dan Deri. Oh, because yeah. I was born in De uh, Delhi, he gave me the name Dan Deri. So it is very strange that any Indian is the disciple of Rakugoka. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm not doing any Rakugo. Actually, I used to do Manzai with him on the stage. About uh, maybe 20 times, I was with him, uh, him on the stage uh, for about 20 times. So I like him very much. And uh, he taught me many things about Japan, about Japanese culture, customs. So I give him very much respect. That's why I want to use the name Dandiri for this program. Uh, Dandiri san, uh, are you working at travel agency? Are you comedian? Uh, please tell yourself. <laughs> yes, it is uh, my job. What I am doing is a travel agency. I am having a travel agency. Besides that, I have another company which is a consultancy company. But uh, I am uh, asked to give lectures all over Japan on many subjects. So my main thing is that I should connect India and Japan, just like a bridge between India and Japan. So. 
uh, I learn many things. So I uh, I know about many things about India. So I convey it to Japanese people here, uh, and I notice that they don't know many things about India. So that is the thing, and because of this, uh, my work was recognized by Indian government also. Uh, I got my company got award, and this I took from Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee in '96. Then I also met uh, Modi ji in uh, Japan in embassy, and of course uh, I got a chance to interpret for Indira Gandhi also. So this is my life. And because of this, because of my language, this is uh, I learned Japanese language and I got EQ in '97. So uh, because of that. I wrote two books also in Japanese language. One is Indo Ryu, and again another one. Uh, recently, I uh, wrote Doshte Naze Indo Jingwa Nihon Ga Suki. Book I wrote. So, uh, I want to deliver, I want to convey what I know to everybody. And it is good for both the people to know. If Japanese, they will come to know so many things about India, they will like it. And they will like to go to Japan, to India to see it. Similarly, if Indian knows the relations between India and Japan and how Japanese are connected with us, uh, with uh, India, they would like to, would love to come to Japan. And I want that, that so many Indians should come. Uh, of course, it is my job also. But beside that also, I want very good relations between India and Japan. They are already very good. Uh, they are coming. We have a historical relations and it is getting better day by day. So we want to add it. We, I want to add in this. I want to bring them together. That is my purpose for this video. Why do you want to be the bridge between India and Japan? Well, the simple thing is that I speak Japanese and I learn it. And uh, because of that, my life is changed. It is totally different. I don't know if uh, there was no Japanese, then I may not be here. I learned many things. I uh, have travel agency. I'm doing business also. And I am also Kenkoteki. <laughs> I'm okay. Health wise, I'm okay. So it is many things which I see, see that it is because of Japan. So I have to pay it back. In Japanese, you say ongaishi. So that thing, I think I have to do something. Uh, I learned many things from India also. So it is just like a ongaishi to India and to Japan that I want to return something back to both these countries from where I got my life. I got everything in my life. I learned many things. So because of this, I want to start this and I want to tell about Japan to Indians and Indians, they can uh, about India to Japanese. Uh, that is my purpose and that is main aim of this and I hope Japanese people will also love it and like it. They will uh, learn more about India. And of course, my Indian friends will also learn about Japan. So I would like to continue this one. And one more thing I would like to add that uh, two years before I had heart trouble, heart attack actually. And I was down, but I had experience of Japanese uh, medical technologies and they saved my life. And everything was saved and today I have uh, five stents with me but I'm okay I'm healthy and main thing it is all covered by insurance only 70 percent uh, 70 percent the Japanese government paid everybody is covered here in insurance that is also a very good thing in Japan so this is the things these are all things are together which uh, uh, I uh, respect I honor and I would like to give it back to uh, all the people so that they can know more about Japan. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for telling us your story. Mm -hmm. uh, Namaste. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dandeli san, yeah. let's make uh, our aisatsu for YouTube. For YouTube, aisatsu. Yeah. What aisatsu. do you want to suggest? Ah, uh, how about? Namaste? Is it your title? Namaste. Manzai, Manzai title? Yeah. Oh yes, uh, it was our title during our program with uh, Tatekawa Danshi. That was Manzai title was Namaste. <laughs> uh, actually, 
you see the Japanese word is nama sute. Nama is uh, you can say waste, nama gobi, or nama is uh, usashimi, <laughs> raw fish also nama. So stay means cleaning something. So namaste means uh, to throw away namagomi, <laughs> to throw away waste, namaste. But in Sanskrit, it is I bow in front of you. So this is a combination of good things. So, okay, we'll use this word namaste. Namaste. <laughs> namaste. Okay. Okay, let's do it together. Okay. Namaste. namaste. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Good. Okay, uh, next, next time we start with this aisatsu. Namaste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, I'm so excited uh, because I can learn about India and Japan and English. So I, I'm so excited. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I hope you will learn and you will enjoy. Yeah, thank you. And please enjoy in front of YouTube, everyone. So let's start with this Namaste together. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so we'll meet next time. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Indojing wa uso tsukanai. Okay. It's same as uh, Kastere? No? Yes, the Japanese uh, many names came from like this. Uh, let's do the quiz. How many states in Japan? They are very polite, very humble, very honest. All these things you can see in their daily life, which is, uh, you travel anywhere in Japan, you will notice it. I want you to enjoy the, all the seasons. We can enjoy different food, yes. uh, flowers, views, and weathers. Namaste. Namaste.